Well, hello everybody, all our friends out on the internet. It's Dr. Jeff <laughs> back again. All right, check this out. So I've come into our Home Depot, our local one here, to check out what's going on here on the OPE equipment based on the news from yesterday where Home Depot announced that they are going to stop selling Ego brand of tools here and that they're going to be, I guess, resetting and sort of um, revamping their whole outdoor tool category and they did mention ryobi as one of those companies and look at this man this store wasted no time at all whatsoever building out their ryobi look at all of these 6500 watt generators that they got in stock now these were not here when i came by here the other day check out all of these here man it goes all the way up the entire garden aisle here so there must be probably a hundred of these things here you know so it looks like they're definitely starting off the bat here with Ryobi and beefing up their OPA there. And Christopher Russell checked in. Hey, how have you been? Missing for a while. Well, cool. Glad you're back. And Wags Davidson says, hey, Jeff. So here we go. Uh, actually, I'm trying to find the price. I don't even know if they have prices on these yet because this is probably not going to be the final resting place of these guys. So um, if I remember correctly, I thought these were like 700 bucks when I saw them at the last hurricane that we had back in september look at that huh you like that angle view all the way down there shows all of them what's up there ricky cobb so if i remember correctly i thought these were about 700 bucks last time we'll we'll see what it turns out to be this time here and notice how i'm just kind of giving you a glance of what's in my card you're like oh what's he getting what's he getting oh man so <clears throat> what's up paul from newport richie all right, so we're gonna head in here, and I did. I started on this side because I wanted to see what changes they've done in this store with the OPE. And you can see again, they've started bringing in massive amounts of Ryobi here. See all of the pressure. These are all the pressure cleaners here. So you have all different sizes, and see, this is the one I like. A lot of people like to trash Ryobi, but let me tell you something, guys. They put a Honda engine on this one. This is one Ryobi I would buy, except I'm more into the gas, N not from so much the gas, but more in the electric now. But if they can get an electric with these kind of specs, with 3,000 PSI and 2.3 gallons, I'll definitely get an electric one. So this is 369. It's not a bad price. I have seen other pressure sprayers at Costco with a Honda engine for as low as like 299. So Allen Ford is just coming on, but why they got so many? Well. We have uh, hurricane season is in full swing now, theoretically. We're in our second month of theoretical hurricane season. So the stores tend to stock up, but I guess, my guess is that's part of that new initiative of, of boosting Ryobi in this new reset that they're doing. So here's the next model down, brushless, electric. See, 2300 PSI. If they had one more compact, I would probably get it because I just don't have the room in my garage. Although I would like to I would like to have the room in my garage for an electric one. Um, these are smaller, slightly more compact than the gas ones though. What I'm not sure, it does look like it's a standard uh, connection, connection there. So I'll have to do some more research on that later when I have more time on that. And then here's a more portable one here for 149. Same 1900 PSI. Well, that's a, that's a little less. See that one's 2300 PSI. And this one's 1900 PSI with the same 1.2 gallons per minute. So this one's even um, even more compact. But you know, guys, let me let me just tell you, when you're dealing with a really, really filthy sidewalk, like one that's almost black, 1900 is not going to cut it because to me, you have to rent the 3000 to 3500 PSI machines. And I've even seen guys bring 2700 PSI machines to a project and they just don't do it. All right, so here, yeah, they got the 40 volt lithium 12-inch uh, cordless trimmer. So this is 159 here. And Shaka Gillis showing up again. Thanks for the $2 super chat there, Shaka. He says, good afternoon. Ryobi is trash. So you know what? I got to ask Shaka. I mean, there's got to be a reason why you think they're trash. I'm sure there's a really good story behind that. You got to tell us what it is. I don't know. Maybe, I think what it is, a Shaka dated a girl whose dad worked at Ryobi or something and she dumped him. That's got to be it. So, you know, I dated a girl once whose dad was a tractor salesman. She sent me a John Deere letter. Oh! All right. We're going to head over here. Look at this. 
This is what I don't understand. This was all DeWalt. And this was all ego and stuff. Like last week, guys. So they got rid of all of that. And they put like friggin' $5 items there. I don't understand it. Here's the last of the ego. So what I'm hoping is if they're going to get rid of ego, are they going to drop the prices on these? Is there going to be some kind of clearance or something? That's what we don't know. So other than that, the other electronic ones we have here are the two Ryobis. One's the push, and the other one is the self-propelled. Why the heck would you ever want to get the push, even though it's 100 bucks less? But to me, I always want the self-propelled on there. And so one says, what's up from San Antonio? Hey, how's it going there? Oh, so Shaka says, I don't think I know. <laughs> I love that. I love that answer. And let's see, Nico checked in from New York. Love the channel. Well, thanks, Nico. Okay, so let me see. Um, the other news that I that I found. So, hey, if you guys remember this, I've been following this for a couple of months now. And remember, I kept saying this thing is $134. And if you look at the sticker, see, they've been trying to dump this thing since February. Uh, that, that's December 23rd, 2019. So the original price was $149. It's been sitting at $134 and hasn't sold. And I just brought it up to the cashier and had them check it. And it's showing up as $99. So I'm going to get it. We're going to do this as a tool giveaway for some lucky person here when we get our 100,000 subscribers, which should probably happen by September. So if I was you guys, I'd be hanging on on the channel and watching and winning for when we list this guy as soon as you see us hit a hundred thousand subs this puppy's going online listed for free as a giveaway and remember i showed you guys this a couple of weeks ago in one of our our walkthroughs i got this off the clearance shelf a few minutes ago so i had one of my girls here scan this in so this used to be 99 and it was marked down to 50 and she's saying it's 33 bucks right now so I'm going to be taking this up to the register and buying this today. This will also be a giveaway for our channel here. So in case you guys don't know what this is, this is that, it's kind of like a matte light. So you get this thing rolls out and it's got these LEDs on there and it rolls out like a matte light and it's 1500 lumen. So it's as bright as one of those overhead LED lights that you would buy for your room or your hall, you know? So that should be a nice giveaway for some lucky person. And then to round out the purchase, I've got my bag of red rubber mulch here we're going to be doing a video on uh, why you should be using you know the red rubber mulch so let me just turn the corner over here real quick and i'll point a few things out to you all right so we're heading over towards the the dewalt tough system because uh, you guys saw the thumbnail and the headline it says oh we have the Tough System 2.0 in. Now, I was in the Boca store the other night. I rode all the way up to Boca the other night to do a live stream on the premise that since they're the biggest, fanciest Home Depot in the area, that they would have the DeWalt System 2.0, the Tough System 2.0. And they, of course, did not. And I was very disappointed. Of course, we did see a few other decent items there. So what I'm going to do here is turn... And we'll come back to some of these things here. But this was my headline for the evening. And we're heading right down over here. And we have a gentleman here, too, on the Milwaukee Packout, guys. So some big news that, that came out today uh, that I wanted to show you. So here we are. Here's all the Milwaukee Packouts, the Ridges, blah, 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 blah. And what have we here, folks? Look what I have in my store. So if you guys have seen this in your store, let me know. So Steven is asking why is 2.0 difficult to get? Well, first of all, it just came out. And in fact, two weeks ago, see, I was on um, the meal alert from Home Depot. And when they alerted me on a Sunday night, it was like midnight. I like, within 30 seconds, I had the page up and was already ordering them. Now, if you guys saw, I did the tool review on this last week. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go to my videos tab and pull up the video on it and you'll see it from last week. Where I tested these guys and compared them to the to the original Tough System 1.0, you know. So you definitely want to go check out that video if you have not seen it. It's very, very thorough. And Wavi says, hey, I like your channel. Do you ship to Samoa? Ah, that I don't know. Well, I don't ship any. Oh, you mean for the, the, the giveaways? No, I can't ship any because these things are too big and too heavy. 
So it's going to be limited to like the 48 contiguous states, unfortunately. Uh, I just can't ship international like that. And I see uh, Rich just checked in too. And um, is that Mido 555 says, Jeff from Ocala, checking in from Ocala. So what is the price for the 2.0? Okay, so this one is the big one. This is the mobile one on the wheels. This is $89 right here. Same price as it is on the people website. Now, if you guys are willing to wait a while, I'm willing to bet these are going to be on sale on Black Friday. And I would think they're probably going to be about $150. That would be my guess. Um, now, last year, they were $99. But these are more expensive than the, than the DeWalt regular Tough System. In fact, this store, we haven't even had Tough System in here since December, which is really just bizarre. So these guys are all here. And all we have right now is these guys. So just just the mobile just the bottom part of the tower right here this piece so we don't have the other two here so i'm glad i was i ordered them when i did i ordered them on a sunday night two weeks ago and they arrived in my house mon uh, not monday it was a wednesday morning and i guess we lucked out because see home depot ships from atlanta that's where these came from and we're basically in the same shipping zone blah 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 whatever you want to call it it's just easier for the shippers to get stuff down to us okay so let me see what else we got here so Joe says, checking in from Pennsylvania. All right. Hey, Joe, how are you guys doing? And um, you guys still suffering from uh, uh, the, uh, what do they call that? The wood. There's that shortage of the pressure-treated lumber. I know everybody was reporting that from Pennsylvania and the other states. So anyway, while we're waiting for his response on that from Joe, um, Steve says, I got the bigger boxes right away. Paid the prices. Trays on back order. Wow. See, they, they must be just trying to ship out as whatever they can when they get it. Okay, now, the other day, I walked into Home Depot, and I showed you guys that these were $279 for the tower for Milwaukee Packouts here. And now they dropped the price to $249, even though, when you look over here on this end cap, that sign over there is still saying $279, dudes. So, here, check this out. So, it says $279 up there, but then right below it here, it's saying $249. So I guess we can assume they're on sale here for $249 right now. But the other news about the packouts that I, I uploaded a video earlier this afternoon. And, and by the way, hat tip to our friend Stan the Man. He reported to us about Toolnut. I think that's, yeah, Toolnut.com. And we we showed it on there, but we showed how they have... All the Milwaukee packouts are 15% off on that website right now. Not everything's in stock, but they'll order it, you know, and it'll they'll send it to you when it comes in. But all the packouts was two was 15% off, and I think it came out to be like 230 if you ended up ordering the the tower, so, something like that. But if you look on my videos tab, you'll see that from earlier this afternoon when we did that. So Joe says, yeah, it's still hard to get at the stores near me. And 4D chess player says, do they hate you at Home Depot? No, why would they hate me? I'm always in here and I'm always showing people what's up and what's in stock and come get it and all that. They should love me, I don't know. And you know, this is what bothers me about this one particular store. Well, first of all, let me show you this. Look look how empty all of our shelves are, guys. I think there's, there's just a worldwide supply chain shortage here, okay? And you know, everywhere you go, empty shelves, empty shelves. And then look at this. So we got the Milwaukee. I've been have, I had my eye on this for like a month and a half since it's been here. They've had this one on the shelf, but none. They have never gotten one in yet here, on the floor here. Nothing. So that I I can't I can't understand what's going on there. Uh, let me just show you briefly over here. This was not in here the other day when I came in. This display. So here they got the MM50 Multimax is 129. And the MM35 is 99 bucks. But you know what? Guys, I am so done with cords. I am just done with it. Done with it. Why? Why would anybody want this? And then over here, I, I, this thing's really growing on me. One of these days, I think I'm going to buy this thing and do a review on it. So this here is that M12 3-inch cutoff saw. Little mini guy here. Mini me. I love this guy. And it's so light vacuum port right there so I, I i see myself definitely getting one of those and then when i came up here to see what was going on down here by the bits 
I feel like I'm in 7-Eleven. Every time I walk by that thing, it goes boop, boop. So all the Bosch's have already been replaced by their other brand that they own, the Diablos. But these are new. These just came in. So these are Avantis. And if you guys aren't familiar with Avanti, Avanti is kind of like the mid-tier line of Diablo blades. So a lot of people don't know Diablo, which is Freud. Freud, I guess that's how you pronounce them. Freud owns Diablo and Avanti. So, and you can sort of tell by the architecture of these blades, these spade bits here, you can tell by the architecture that these are not as good as these speed demons, which these speed demons are really just the, uh, the Bosch daredevils. And actually, we were working on a um, tool review comparing these two, and I gotta apologize for, it should have been up a month ago, but what happened was my counter died. I have a counter that I was going to use to monitor how long it takes to drill the holes for both of these guys. And the counter died, so I'm waiting for the company who's been trying to keep sending me remotes that don't work. And they're, it's just bizarre dealing with these Chinese manufacturers. Pain in my butt. So that is on hold right now until I can get that counter in. But who knows, I might add these Avanti Pros to that testing strategy there. So you can see these don't have the threaded bits that dig in. So, they're cheaper, they'll do the job, I'm sure, but they're going to take a lot longer to cut through the wood. Okay, so Kazidu says Milwaukee dropped them about another 100 bucks, way overpriced, yeah. Well, the lowest price we've ever seen on those packouts over there was $199 at Christmas. That's the lowest price I've ever seen anywhere. Uh, was there anything else we needed to see down here? Nothing. All right, so I'm going to head to the... Uh, Oh, right, well, I'll do it last. It was something I was going to show you guys, but I'll show you last because in case they tell me not to film, <laughs> which has happened in here before, um, I want to make sure I got all this other stuff in. So we're here at the clearance, clearance. And of course, this is where I got these two earlier. I was going to wait and just show it, putting it in the cart in the walkthrough here, but I just didn't want to take the chance of losing it to somebody else. They got these stupid things. They still got these are these are like the original three, I think, that they had in at Christmas time. The price is down basically half. And it might even be less by now if you take it up front. But these things never, never did well. And they weigh a ton. I mean they weigh an absolute ton. So I don't know why you'd want to get these things and put them on the on the front of your tool and have those interchangeable. It just didn't make sense to me. And it obviously didn't make sense to any other buyers here as well. These are nice here, these Moen, but come on, 10 bucks off isn't enough to make me want to. Although I, it does almost. Maybe I'll wait. Let me see. So these went on May 24th. So I'll give these another week. And I'll see if they, they scan in lower. And they got some security lights up here. We'll see if they'll scan in lower. And if they do, I'll buy them. This thing, I'm surprised nobody has snapped this puppy up. I've been showing you guys this auger kit has been sitting here for like a month now. And I think, I think, you know, here's the price, $3.59. And it might even be lower by now. But somebody who's getting into plumbing surely, surely would kill to have something like this. Because it's a 50-foot drain kit. Hey, when I had to have a kitchen sink plumbed out at a, snaked out at my, one of my flip condos a couple of years ago. 33 feet is all they needed. So that's a good one. See, and I, I see these guys here too. Uh, I might I might have them check this because I already got one of these to do as a giveaway and I might do another one of these. So I'll take this, slowly add it to the carts. Getting quite a haul here tonight, man. I might have to call in a second cart. Oh, what else have we got? See, some of these aren't too bad of a deal here. So if you're in the, <clears throat> in the market here for a tub and shower set there. Okay. So let's see. Any other bargains? See, they have all the little, like, the cheapy stuff on this side. And then the other side over here is where they generally put the bigger tools. Now, they had some more tools here the, the other day, so I don't know if people came in and snapped them up or what. So Steve Zinn says, Jeff, Acme has a sale on some of the 1.0 is a little discounted. There you go. I would not get any more 1.0s. If you guys see the video that I did last week on these 2.0s, I'm just completely sold, especially on that new one-handed latching mechanism, guys. One-handed latching is unbelievably easy. 
here's all of our pressure treated guys it goes all the way up there and we have some all the way down there and then there's our white wood so we definitely did not hurt at all during this whole pandemic so i don't know what happened i heard in pennsylvania part of it might have been because of the dam collapse or people had floods and stuff like that but we are well stocked so hey let us know down in the comments what state you guys are in and if you're still having trouble getting the pressure treated lumber and i would try like other lumber yards and stuff too and call and just like if you saw our video on how to get all of the covid 19 stuff the hard to get items you know be ready to be in line at, at some of those stores when a truck comes in early in the morning that's the way you're going to guarantee getting some of that yeah so they still have the, the uh, makita deal going on here uh there was something they did over here with rigid let's see rigid frigid okay so for 139 here we got the tool tool combo so it comes with the charger and the battery here. All metal gears on these. And nothing useful on the other side there. Okay, so here's the batteries, but they're not showing the price. These are the CP 2.0s. Yeah, these are the, let me... See, the ones I like to get, I like the ones that came in my kit that I got when I got the light tower, the rocket light. So I got the, uh, the, the XC 6.0 and the xc 8.0 so especially when you're using that that m18 vacuum you're going to want the bigger uh battery believe me the little ones just don't cut it so let's see what else we got uh, most of the other normal junky items that they put here but, but guys here's what's surprising me though is they they've pulled all, all the tools out of the front of the store and they're replacing it with like five dollar bottles of bleach i mean what now this was the other deal they got here going with the two pack for 27.97 because i thought i saw before where these were going for 24 for one at one point or something like that i, I can't remember i haven't bought one of these in so long because i have enough of them plus i i prefer to use the bags in my vac because a lot of times i'm dust i'm doing uh drywall sanding so i have to just let it go into the bag and not and killing a filter every time I want to um, sand all right so now we're going to go up to the front and I'm going to show you a couple of other bargains from Milwaukee by the way I don't think they sold a whole lot of Milwaukee stuff here during the, the Father's Day sale just every time I came in it didn't look like anything had dropped you know okay <clears throat> so here you got the the organizer here so this one is on sale right now because see they normally sell these for 25 bucks so they've got down to 1997 right now and if you guys saw the video i did a great review back i think it was in december i did a view a, a review where i compared this job site to the dewalt one right here <clears throat> And the DeWalt one's not on sale right now. I usually don't buy these until they drop to like 15 bucks. And once in a blue moon, you'll see them at a particular store that if you get it online through Home Depot's website and you put in a certain zip code of a store and have it shipped to you, they'll get as low as 10 bucks. But it's usually like a weird one with a gray kind of a gasket. It's not ones I've ever seen, but it is the DeWalt. So anyway, we did a video in December where we compared this one to this one. So later when I get home tonight, I will put the link to that uh, video where we tested both of these. We did water testing, drop testing, showed everything about them, compared everything side by side. And I love these little guys here because, see, these guys here will latch to each other. Okay. I don't think, yeah, I think, yeah, they will. They'll latch to, the, to these guys. Um, but what, see, these give you more compartments. So when you're dealing with the little screws and stuff that don't take up a whole lot of space, and I've told you guys about this before, but look for it this summer, because usually around this time in the summer, they start setting up like a cardboard thing. Like you see that firm grip thing down there, sticking there. They'll stick out something in the aisle like that that has this on it, and it's a two-pack for $19.99. And that's the steal of the century in terms of all of these storage deals and stuff. So anytime you can see that, I would definitely go for that. <clears throat> 
And so Patrick Sabo checked in. Jason says, uh, tool not takes forever to ship. Yeah, and I wonder if it's because like a lot of times their stuff's not actually in stock. So if you have all the time in the world and you want to save a little money, yeah, then you, you use them uh, for sure. And Anthony says, hey, Jeff, any three-inch saw blades for the rigid? Oh, for that little tool? Yeah, let me, let me go over there and check. I'll see if anybody has any blades for that over there. And then BW's Electric says, I looked for the pack-out kits in my Home Depot and only found individual pack-out pieces to add to a kit. And you know what? Let me tell you guys something. Maybe you should buy this right now because who knows? Maybe these three disappear and then you don't have any for months. We don't know what's going to happen with this pandemic crap because it seems like we're shutting things back down again. Everything's shutting back down. It's like crap, man. It's like March and April all over again. <clears throat> all right, let's see where the blades are. Those are grinding blades. Hey, they might have them back with the grinding blades. Let me check. Sometimes, sometimes they have it with these guys right here. See, all I'm seeing is the four. Wait. Yeah, that's a four. These are four inch. I am not seeing any of the three inch blades here. Which is weird because we had this problem last year when they came out like with like the six inch, six and a half inch circular saws and we couldn't find the six and a half inch blades. <clears throat> nothing there, nothing up there. What's that little guy? That's a four and a half up there. So it doesn't look like, well, here's the rigid section. Now, surely you would think <clears throat> they don't have it either. All they got is four inch. That is just very strange, guys. Because this is really where the cutoff stuff should be. And by the way, these are really nice, nice little diamond wheel things. So I got one of these for my rigid um, angle grinder. And we use this to grind down my friend's old tile floor in his old bathroom that we we're remodeling. And this came in handy just grinding it out. I mean, it makes a lot of smoke. So you've got to have a mask on and goggles. And we had a fan in the window blowing the dust out the, the window. And we had vacuum going because it kicks up a boatload of dust. I want to get that's why I want to get one of the better, newer grinders that have the, the, uh, what should I call it? Those you alleged universal dust shrouds like these guys. So, if any of you guys have used one of these, let me know because I was thinking of getting one of these. So, you hook it up to your, your grinder there, and it's supposed to hook up to your vacuum and suck up all that dust as you're going to town with it, you know. So Mrs. Parker says, hello, I was just getting ready to inquire about the small hand sanders. Any deals? We should be standing pretty close to them because they normally are kept right around here. <clears throat> yeah, here they are right here. And so far, it doesn't look like any of them are on sale. I'm still a little miffed about um, the one I got from DeWalt a year and a half ago. I still got to do a review on it. So the one that I bought, and I don't see it here, this store might not have it. It was supposed to be an Elite one, because it's that new series that's supposed to be light on vibration and better for guys that, that are working you know, with it all the time. The only problem is, is the port to the vacuum was garbage. And when I hooked my vacuum up to it, it wasn't sucking out any of the, um, the dust. It wasn't getting from here over to here through to, the, to my vacuum. And I called up DeWalt, and they were saying, well, I don't know, maybe something's wrong with it. I'm like, well, shoot. So I'm kind of left in limbo right now. I'm going to have to scramble one day and get, get another one. But, yeah, so that's what they have here. They got these two, uh, 129 and 139. <clears throat> but I do like the fact that these are, are cordless. So I haven't tried either of these two. I don't know. I had the older one from way back. It was a plug-in. And it was finally dying, so that's why I had come in about a year and a half ago and bought the newer one here. But they don't they don't have that one here anyway. The one I bought was like 80 some odd dollars. So there we have that. Um, any idea what's going to take Ego's place? Well, I think... I think, Jason, that's going to be... Ryobi would be my guess. Unless there's some other brand that we don't know about that's coming in. We just don't know. Unless Milwaukee comes up with something or DeWalt comes up with something. 
But they made it sound like they're going to be working on this until spring of next year. You know, their press release was just really kind of cryptic. It kind of sounded like we're building things up and we're taking stuff out. And I don't know. It just sounded weird. It didn't, it didn't offer us a whole lot of information as to what's going on. It just sounded like a bunch of fluff. So, I don't know. All right, so let me see here. Um, yeah, so here's the display. So this display wasn't here. Um, when I checked during Father's Day, this was not here. So I don't know if it was an oversight or if they just brought it in now. So who knows? I still need to do a review on this. I bought this at Father's Day also, 1988. It's a pretty good price to get two big clamps and two of the small ones, the tiny ones there, you know? And anything else over here? All of this other stuff. They got some atomics over here. Now, what's this little guy? See, now this task light I've not seen before here. This is the cordless task light, so you put a battery on it. That's a lot of money, though, guys. 99 bucks. See, something like this, I will wait for it to come on sale and then use a 10% off Lowe's coupon on it because, I don't know. So it's 2,000 lumens. This is pretty bright. I'll give them that. So, to give you a perspective, those dome lights that you buy that you hang on the ceiling for your bedroom light, those are usually about 12 to 1500 lumens. So this 2000 lumen light is almost as bright as that Milwaukee M18 rocket tower light that you saw me do that tool review on about a week and a half ago. I uploaded that view. And look at this, guys. It's IP54 rated. That's probably one of the things adding to the cost of this. So yeah, this... I had not seen this in here in this store before, so we're going to have to see. If that comes on sale, I'll come in and get that, and we'll do a tool review on that one. And this is still the kit, kit the kickback kit. This is the same one I got last year, the same DCD996 hammer drill, which is a kick butt drill. And, of course, the circ saw with the speed brake on there. As soon as you take your finger off the trigger, the wheel just stops like that. It's incredible. That the deal I got last year came in a tough system case. It came in the medium toolbox, the one that's about the size of this. So, and I paid three fourteen. <clears throat> it was originally three ninety nine, and they marked it down just before Labor Day to three forty nine. And I used a ten percent off coupon that brought it down to three fourteen. So to get it down to two ninety nine for this is not too bad. The only thing is you're just not getting the tough system case. So that tough system case added probably what sixty bucks, something like that to the value and we don't know how much they're getting for the oh wait we do know how much for these 20 gallon husky compressors here 299 there <clears throat> you see see look they're left with all of this stuff guys they just did not sell much of this stuff and some fools came in and obviously paid 119 for this m18 back here so <clears throat> but a lot of this other stuff like the rover lights Man, they're still left with a bunch of these here. So let's see who else is coming on. So Patrick says, I love Ryobi. Yeah, I like certain Ryobi, not everything. I do like that new 3 8 inch ratchet. So if you guys saw that review I did last week on that, comparing it to the Milwaukee, that was pretty good. It's more powerful than the Milwaukee one, and, but it's bigger because of the big battery. But you can rotate the head around. So here you get the whole dozers. They're still, I'm thinking, yeah, still 39.88. Not too bad for a 14-piece uh, kit. I would like to get a carbide version of that, though. I have that kit right now. I would love to get a carbide version. And here you go. Every bedroom should have one of these. 344 bucks. Oh, that's Home Depot's commercial electric brand there, and they got a smaller ones over here too. Tell you, I was gonna buy one of these like for my garage until I bought the DeWalt fan. I just keep it, put it up high about my head height when I'm working in the garage and it does great. It does great for me. All right, so here you got uh, the LXT multi-tool here. This guy's 99 bucks here. And they got the Sawzall, the LXT compact reciprocating Sawzall. I mean, that's a pretty decent price, man. 79 bucks to get a Sawzall. I can't even remember how much I paid for my old giant Milwaukee one a few years ago. 
Now the Random Orbit Sander is five uh, five inch. That's ninety nine bucks too. That's marked down from one nineteen. I don't see the charge. Oh, yeah, we do have the charger here. So here you got the four amp hour battery here and the high uh, the starter pack here. So I like it when they kind of give you the estimate of the charging times on there. Sometimes with the chargers, you really have no idea, you know, until you actually get it home and, and test it out. Yeah. All right, now let me show you these. So here's the Stanley boxes. The Stanley boxes are not quite as good as the DeWalt, see, because they don't have any of the metal on the hinge there. These are plastic here. See, these are warped already. So just being here and in, inside the box, they're already bent and curved and warped. And there's no gasket, so there's no IP rating. 20 minutes, they're closing. They're going to kick us out soon. So the Stanley boxes are not quite up to the snuff of the DeWalt boxes, as you can see. But if you're just looking for something cheap, that's probably fine. See, look at this. This was where all the tools were during Father's Day. Come on, really? $8 bottles of bleach is what you put there? I don't understand that. You think you would want to have all the tools right here? This is the main front aisle where everybody comes from the the building materials section and comes all the way around to get in line for the register. And you see all those stickers on the floor up there? That's the line for the register. So <clears throat> people people end up in line back here, and you would think you would have the tools right there for impulse buying, you know. And so that Ryobi. <laughs> A ratchet wrench I told you about this is the Milwaukee version that I compared it against the 3 8 inch right here 149 and they're both tool only in fact I want to see if they have that Ryobi here because they didn't have it out on this yeah I do see it when I came and got it it wasn't out on the floor yet so these are brand new so these are 79 bucks and here it is right here see now people that saw my video my tool review said oh that battery is too big how are you gonna get in those tight areas well, this head, and I can't, I don't know if I can do it with one hand. You see, I can't do it with one hand. The head rotates around, so I can make this head face back this way, see? So now you're facing towards the thin part of the front of the, the body, where now it's more like the, the Milwaukee one, see? This is, this, I really liked this one, guys. It actually did quite well. I know Shaka Gillis might not like it, but I liked it. See if I can get this thing back on the stand there. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Watch this. <laughs> oh, hey, he got it. Bada bing, bada boom. So there we go on that one. Let's see what else we got. Because uh, YouTube says, can't imagine loving Roby. I tolerate. There you go. Okay, so BW says he found magnetic racks. For the husky cabinets in the closeout wow 50 cent to a dollar there you go and uh steve says jeff a a few 1.0 mixed isn't bad yeah i have i still have my old 1.0s and they will plug on to the the, the dewalt 2.0s and the 2.0s will plug on to the 1.0 so they are ba all backwards compatible and everything and Enoch Chang says, Jeff, can you do a review of the Snap-on power tools? Well, I don't own a single one yet, so maybe if I come across some, I'll do it. And, and Theogonan, I hope I pronounced that right. Theogonan says, saludos from Argentina. You're probably our farthest visitor today. We have somebody on here from um, uh, Puerto Rico. And um, let's see. Dale says, no comfortable side handles on the 2.0. It was a real breaker for me. But it was only on, um, I think at which box was missing it. I think it was only the, the medium box. Let me take a quick walk back over there and see if the bottom, the large box, has the side handles. I remember pointing it out in the video, <clears throat> but I can't remember which one. It might be the, this big one. Let me see if they did away. Yeah, yeah, see? They did away with a handle on this one. But the medium-sized box has it, and so does the small one. So at least you still got it on those two. Because um, the way I figure, I mean, you're not always going to be, you know, how often are you going to lift this one? I don't, I don't know. You do still have the handle on the top, see? 
and it is still pretty robust so I kind of lifted it holding this one and this one and as you know this whole telescopic handle comes out whereas uh, I don't think it came out on the tough system 1.0 what you do is you turn this guy here that's a block that's like a stopper you turn him and once you and then you turn the other one here and once you turn both of those the entire thing pulls up and out so now if you have to store this box in your pickup truck below the tonneau cover this is your new height which if I remember from the video correctly was about 20 inches as opposed to over 24 inches here so being able to take this out for some people was very crucial <clears throat> it makes the difference of whether or not it's going to fit in the truck or not all right so since they're getting ready to kick us out i think let me just check a few more and by the way if you know so many comments fly by i don't get to see all of them yeah they're telling everybody to get our stuff up to the register so if i didn't answer everything any of your questions you know ask them and and when the video uploads in a few minutes just ask them in the comments there and i will go ahead and answer them when i get home tonight Oh, let's see. So Enoch says, Jeff, can you do... Oh, yeah, that, we already read that one. And... Let me see what other questions we have. There are so many coming through here. I can see a lot of the one for the stop on tools. And John checked in again. You do it. Hey, now. And uh, Romel checked in. He says, I got to get me the toolbox. Yep. I, I got to tell you, those 2.0 boxes, guys, are just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, without a doubt there. And Sick Duck checked in. What's up, Sick Duck? I'm glad you made it tonight. And Paul Paul said that, Jeff, do, uh, does Milwaukee make an orbital sander? You know, I haven't even checked on that. I, that's one of the things, one of these days, because probably next month even, I might sit down and start checking all the different models that are out there and who's got them and, and, and you know, whether they're worth getting or not you know and Vincent checked in from San Jose California and Stan the man there's Stan back again he says you can mention that ego is no more at the Home Depot yeah we already mentioned that earlier <clears throat> and thanks Stan for um, telling us about that 15% discount on the packouts I was just telling them earlier about that so Stan the man is the one that told us about that and uh, let's see I think that's it. I think we got everything covered here tonight so far that we wanted to cover. I actually didn't really plan on coming in here and doing a live stream, except we saw the 2.0 sitting over there. So we're going to walk right by them one last time and wave goodbye for the night. And yeah. Uh, so, guys, check your stores, man, and see if it's in stock there. I'll do a little pose. Hey, what's up? Well, hopefully, you guys can find them by your store there. Well, thanks for. Joining us tonight, guys, we're always glad to have you here with us. It was a very fruitful evening here. And hey, remember what I said, guys. Coming up on the 100K subscriber giveaways, we're doing all of these guys right here. All of these tools here are going to be given away. So make sure you're watching us and you're ready for that, all right? So you guys have a great rest of your week. And keep watching our channels. We're working on multiple reviews right now. We uploaded a video earlier today showing about that new LG OLED 55-inch TV that I bought. And I gave you a few snippets of some of the video that we're working on. Man, that's an incredible TV. So that should hopefully be up in a few days. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining tonight. And we'll see you all on the next one. Ciao.